Hi, my name is Sibol Mube, and I'm here at the invitation of the Center for Sustainable Climate Solutions. I work down in Zimbabwe with the Brethren in Christ Compassionate and Development Services and serve as the national coordinator of the church's social ministry. Climate change is one of the topical issues that the church is working on right now and there's a big call to the church worldwide to develop new capacity for mitigation and helping communities adapt, speaking to policies and how these can be supportive, particularly of communities that live at the edge. What is climate change causing? We're seeing more floods, longer droughts, and more people going hungry. That's not only a moral issue, but an issue that should be of great political concern because it speaks of non-development and we know development is the desire of nations. And so there's also big advice that should perhaps go to governments. Governments need to make sure that climate responsiveness is integrated within government policy so that people, particularly those who depend on agriculture for a livelihood, are able to cope with these changes and to leave live uh, dignified um, lives. And this would also mean governments like the government of America need to rethink stances or change thereof that has been made um, to supporting climate finance. Um, because at the end of the day, the whole world is affected because climate change in itself is the cause of a great many conflicts, not only in con uh, communities in developing countries, but I believe also in communities in developed countries. So this must be not only a national concern, but there must be international consensus. And at times it means large nations may need to rethink and agree to come again to the round table of discussion on how best we can win, because we can.